Good afternoon everyone, this is Amanda with Stitch Pixels. Wanted to say thank you for stopping by to watch my video today. If you're new here, uh, what we're going to be doing is going through a bunch of my whips that I've worked on since the last video. Uh, I got a little bit of haul to show you and that's about it for today. If you can't tell, I'm a little sick. Um, last night my throat got really scratchy. We've been medicating me like crazy to keep this from getting any worse. Uh, so I didn't come going to work today. Not I wasn't scheduled or anything. I just didn't pick anything up just to spend a day at home and relax. Uh, so I figured I might as well film. Um, personal stuff, uh, I'm finally down to one job for real this time. Those of you that have been watching me since last mania, um, I've been juggling two jobs for almost a year now um, between various different places. So now I'm finally at a point where I don't need the two jobs, so I'm happier not working six to, six to seven days a week. Um, I've actually only worked one day so far this week, which was glorious. It was a 10 hour shift, but um, it's really nice to have some free time. More stitching, more gaming. Actually get to see Thomas every now and then. Um, no cats around right now, but I've started talking to myself, so I think they assume I'm talking to them. So we'll see who makes an appearance today. If nobody shows up by the end, I'll go fish one up for you guys. Because my videos aren't my videos without an intruder. Uh, first off, we'll start with whips. No, no. Let's look at my finishes. I do have three finishes. They're all tiny. <laughs> Um, and these are all from Magical Stitches Homework. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in checking out Magical Stitches. Um, it's a Facebook group uh, and their focus this year is Harry Potter books. So it's about reading books that give you reading challenges and stitching challenges that are directly, uh, directly related to the books. So right now we are doing Prisoner of Azkaban. One, two... Is that the third book? I don't remember. Um, this one is spanned March and April, so I read the book at the beginning of March. Um, and I've done a few of the extra credit books. I'm not really into the reading aspect because I don't like reading. I'll listen to audiobooks when I can, but right now it's crunch time to rewatch all of Game of Thrones before Sunday. It's not gonna happen. I still have a season and a half left. Okay, it might happen. I'm pretty good at cranking through those things and they're only 10 episodes, 10, 10 episodes each and they're an hour each. But back on track, finishes. So I finished off Dino Days. This is Frosted Pumpkin, um, 14 count Ada. I know normally I'm an 18 count person, but I didn't want to be tiny, tiny. So 14 count Ada, it's a picture of this plus, not sure what. Um, it's showing up pretty true though. It's kind of like a very pale gray color. I did sub the white out for a Mo sale. Not sure which one, but you couldn't see the white at all. Like he has teeth, barely noticeable. So I frogged it all and redid the white. Uh, next up, I finished two of my Skyrim herbs by Serious Stitches on Etsy. Uh, first one I did was Nern Root. I hate counting stitches. I hate counting back stitches even more. This is horrendous. Like, do me in headache, ugh. But, got her done. And then I finished off Death Bell. So I only have two more herbs to do. And they're mostly at the point where they're almost done stitching and I just need to back stitch. Um, if you're interested in seeing my whips, my previous video was a whip parade. I showed everything I have, um, just in preparation for Mania. Because I am going to do 31 starts in 31 days this year. Getting a little crazy. That's what I like. Um, but I will do another video with all my mania plans. I'm not going to include it in this video because then that will just be long. And I don't feel like talking that much because my throat's a little scratchy. I sound like I've been sucking on a tailpipe. Um, so in no particular order, whips I've worked on. Um, I worked on Final Fantasy VII. This is an 18 count... Picture this plus as well. I get all my fabric from one, two, three stitch. So if you're looking for it, one, two, three stitch. Under picture this plus. I don't remember exactly what all their names are and the X stitch app isn't working very well. I log in and it just tells me error, error, error. So I've given up on that. 
Uh, so yeah, I got a bunch of that done for Magical Stitches homework. Everything I do is Magical Stitches. Um, this is a Cute Patterns by Maria Freebie on her Facebook group. Um, it's a cat with a pizza slice. Oh yeah, not editing. I feel like crap. Um, so if you want this, it's a cute little, it's pushing the cat with a pizza slice, which is basically me in cat form because I love pizza. Uh, I did this for Magical Stitches as well. I believe the homework was uh, 200 stitches equals one point, so stitch as much as you want. Uh, next one up is Maggie the Messmaker. Uh, this is a Dimensions kit that came on black fabric. I restarted it last year for Mania because I didn't want to stitch black on black. Um, so I've actually only worked on this for Magical stitches anytime like a depressing project or You know the Dementor attack where you have to stitch on something that's sucking the life out of you. This is my chosen project because I hate it. Nothing against it. It looks amazing. It looks beautiful, but I'm so out of like I don't want to stitch kits It's very high school me Because I'm pretty sure that's when I got most of these was in early 2000s uh, back when Michaels used to sell kits and my mom used to go buy me the big dimensions gold kits with her 60% off coupons. Um, it's a cat with a sewing machine and my mom really wants it. She's been bugging me for it for like a decade. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Ah, uh, funny thing with that project. Um, I have the floss on the floss cards that it comes with and I lost one of the floss cards. So I'm ripping my house apart for like two hours looking for the floss. And then I'm like, just screw it. I haven't used any of these colors yet. I'm just gonna sub DMC. So I subbed out, I wrote down all the DMC numbers for the colors I'm missing. I'm gonna go with it. Then what do I find three days ago? The floss card. So now for that one particular color, I'm gonna use DMC because I already started. It's a blended, so maybe, it, maybe I might not need to. Yeah, the color here, one of these guys is supposed to be, one of these guys is a DMC. And it's not supposed to be but we'll see since it's blended it might not be noticeable if I switch back to the right color I don't know how close they are I haven't really paid that much attention to it because that's the project I stitch the exact required number of stitches and it goes away I never leave floss hanging I finish my threads if you did ignore the cat pizza one too because it was 200 stitches stop 200 stitches and I just never got past it but I'm a thread finisher I don't like leaving my thread hanging but that one, oof, the thread hangs. Um, up next are one, two, three sows I'm working on, and I love every single one of them. I wish I had more time. This is the East Asian Sal by Lucy Heaton, hosted by Lakeside Needlecrafts. Um, I don't have a lot of the back stitching done yet, but the border's supposed to be waves. <laughs> and uh, that's a kabuki actor. I just need to, I did some of the white back stitching, but like I said before, I hate counting stitches. I hate counting back stitches even more. So for magical stitches, I've kind of been avoiding back stitching anything because it just sucks the life out of me. Um, this is a 32 count even weave. I'm not sure uh, where it's from, but Adele gifted it to me. She's doing her sal on the same fabric. And this is so sparkly and gorgeous. I love it. And it was my first time ever working on an even weave. So I love it, and I've actually purchased some of my own even weave for smalls. Um, we'll talk about even weave more later when I get to the haul part. Uh, next up, Medieval Mansion. I've actually gotten a lot done on this. Um, there we go. This is Tiny Modernist in the same era as the uh, mansion, the Christmas house, and the Easter one that just started. The Easter one's killing me. I don't have any room in my life for that sale right now, but I want to buy it so bad. Next year, next year. Because I have four sales on the go right now and none of which I'm anywhere near caught up. This one's actually done now and I'm still chipping away at part one. But there we go. The fabric, this is an 18 count by Barbara L Creations on Etsy. Again, links down below. Pretty good at doing that, <laughs> surprisingly. 
I'm horrible at filming floss tube in any regular sense, but I put links. Uh, next up is Magic Mini Monsters. I finally finished the title. Um, this one, I am not necessarily subbing everything, but I am using Mo's Sale as much as I can for it. I absolutely adore her floss. It's so nice to stitch with. So the letters were originally yellow with pink polka dots, so I just picked a yellow and pink Mo Sale to do the letters and just ignore the polka dots. And then um, I believe that's DMC 150 for the outline. It's a little bit darker than the what she had charted, but I needed something to contrast my slightly darker letters. Um, I think we're up to part four now. Uh, the monsters are so cute. Oh, this fabric is another Barbara L Creations. And I don't know. It's a fabric of the month, so I don't even know if you can purchase this. I believe it's, no, I don't even wanna guess. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, love it. Uh, if you are interested in the Magic Mini Monsters, it is a Barbara L. Creations fabric that she does her, is her called for for it. Um, and it's very similar to this purple. I don't think it's the exact one because I just used whatever purple I had kicking around. Um, up next, uh, No Smoking. This is my focus piece for the year with Magical Stitches. If this project is workable for the prompt, I use it no matter what. Um, I am breaking my rules a little bit with the going by color. Uh, because we've had a lot of prompts for to stitch black. So I've started on black even though it's not the next color and I just do the required stitches and I move on. But I do have, I think I am nearing the 60% mark, which is good because this needs to be done in like July. Um, I believe I have eight or nine colors left. And of course, since I stitch in hand, it rolls. Trying to get you guys a good view of the whole thing. Here. There we go. Very attractive. This is my smallest hade. Uh, it's 12 pages. I started it about a year ago. Um, my mom quit smoking. I don't even know when. Uh, within the last five years, I believe. So I saw this and I, she loves dragons and all things fantasy. So I thought the little dragon covering his nose with the no smoking sign in the back would be super cute. Uh, let me check my PDF here. You're on my desk and my computer's right behind you. So I track all of my full coverage on uh, a spreadsheet. Sorry, just looking around the camera. Um, I have 13 colors left and I am 57% done the stitches. Um, so if I worked on it exclusively, I could be done in five weeks. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't have the attention span for that right now. Um, up next, oh, March was Poke March um, in Pokemon Stitchers group uh, run by Laura X Stitches. Um, she made me an admin to run the Poke March event this year. Uh, since she's been really busy with school. Um, she's a teacher, not a student. Um, so I did Poke March. Unfortunately, I ended up being so busy I could barely participate, but everyone in there seemed to have a good time. Um, every day we just had a different little theme, like stitch on a water type or stitch on a purple Pokemon. So this is what I got done. Uh, not a whole heck of a lot, I know. Uh, I took part maybe the first week or so, and then life just gets in the way. Uh, this is white 18 count Ada. Um, so this is panel two. It's not quite as large as the panel I've already completed, um, but it's as tall. So I'm making a little bit of progress. Nothing crazy. Uh, will I have it done by 2022? Not a chance. I have way too many whips and I'm having way too much fun starting things to focus on one project. Um, up next, I worked on, uh, this is Afternoon Tea by Randall Spangler. It's a little dragon with a teacup. Um, it was for a Magical Stitches prompt. Uh, this is what my style of stitching looks like when it's just starting. Um, this is extreme cross country, starting with the least number of stitches. 
I believe I'm up into the two or three hundreds. I'll roll this up for you guys just so you can see me going. This is one of my mid-range hades. It's about 20 something pages. So nothing insane, but not tiny either. Oh, knocking everything over on my desk. Uh, here, let me pull up my stats. Sorry, just trying to see around the camera. Um, I have 12 colors done and I'm not even a percent complete. So I'm up to stitches in the 200s, uh, but that really hasn't been getting the attention it deserves. It's a lovely project. And the last one, one of my, I think this is my biggest hate as of now. Once I start Mania, the things might change. But this is Evolutions, possibi Possibilities Evolutions by Walking Melons on Hade. Um, it's huge. You want me to roll the whole thing out? Again. Extreme Cross Country by Color. This is the Max Color um, version of it, but this is the corner I have the most work done in. This is Leafy On. I worked on this for Magical Stitches as well. But it's not much to look at at this point, right? Up until I get into colors that are like five or 600 stitches each, there's not a lot of detail. It just looks like random blotches. Um, I think those are Umbreon's eyes over there. And all this right in the middle here, that's Evie's face. I know that because that's page 60. Every time I get a stitch on page 60, I get super excited because I can, yes, more on Evie. And then it just ends up being like two stitches in Evie's eyes. And then... I did originally start this working by page, so I have two partial page finishes down here. And then I started on another page going up. But then I realized I hated stitching by page. <laughs> and it's not even the stitching by page that bugs me. I just, once I get thread off a of bobbin, I don't want to put it back on. So I like to finish, I like to color complete. So this is what works best for me. All right, got all that done. Showed you my finishes. Um, now I have a little bit of haul, nothing crazy. Um, most of it, most of what I've purchased over the last uh, year has been put in my next mania pile. So in my video where I show off all my mania plans, you'll see a lot of the fabrics and stuff I bought. Um, I did order a bunch of most sale. Uh, it's through her Facebook group. She had this massive lot of 150 skeins bobbinated. Those are my uh, classic color works. Um, and I don't remember the price, but I'm like, uh, yeah, sold. So I bought the whole lot. So instant Mo sale collection, which is kind of what I was looking for considering I wanted to do a conversion for my magic monsters. And there's the rest of it. I have it sorted by like tonal variegated and then the other box was more of the multicolor variegated just because they weren't all gonna fit in one box. There's some other specialty threads in there. Um, I have a few from Barbara L Creations. Uh, she sometimes sends me floss with my fabric of the month. So I gotta bobinate those and get those all squared away. This was my first most sale. I got it in a swap through the Frux Christmas ornament swap. And so it's all her fault for getting me totally addicted to Mosail. <laughs> um, I also picked up a Mosail grab bag a few weeks ago. I think it was $20 for a boatload of floss. I won't take them all out individually, but there's a beige and some nice variegated ones. I absolutely love this one. This one I think I'm gonna use as the border on my mini monster cell. Um, uh, and I got a bunch more blues. I had like a really pretty blue tonal range that came with this grab bag. So I put that away for one of my mania starts because I was thinking I would use that instead of the called for DMC because it was a nice like variation of blues. Uh, but you'll see that next video. Um, 
I also got some more fabric. I bought a bunch of fabric from Barbara L Creations. Uh, back in January, I don't remember if I mentioned this, uh, but I used to design crochet patterns for about a year or so. Uh, so I had this rainbow barf cat plush scarf um, and it went viral. So I made a bunch of money selling the pattern in January. So I splurged and bought myself a bunch of fabric from Barbara L Creations. Uh, because hey, free money, right? <laughs> Uh, so I got a piece of even weave. Uh, this was in a three pack. You'll see the other colors in uh, my mania because I have everything all set up. But I am loving the even weave. Uh, it's wonderful to work on. And then I also got, this is part of fabric of the month, Valiant Poppy. I won't unfold the whole thing, but it's nice reds. These are the only two pieces of fabric I have left that didn't get slotted in for a mania start so hoping to find something to go on those guys this year um along with haul a little while ago I bought some needles and other little knickknacks of very little importance um but I wanted to try doing haze on high camp fabrics not for um any reason other than some of the ones I want to start are massive like the size of EV Lucian's massive. And I wanna do half stitch just so they go faster. And I don't really wanna do four strands half stitch on 18 count, that just seems very cumbersome to me because in dimensions kits they get you to sometimes do four strand half stitch and it's not something I enjoy. So I've bought a piece of 32 count and a piece of 25 count Jobelin. No, the 32 count is Jobelin and the 25 count is Lugana, just because I wanted to see if I liked one over the other. So I did try... a bunch of different stuff... to see if I would like stitching one over one on high count. And because of the way I stitch, I stitch in hand sewing methods, so... I go half stitches one way and cross them back the other way. I don't do individual stitches. I do them in rows back and forth. Um, and because of this, my stitches slip on even weave. And because I stitch in hand, I always go the same way. I don't go down, a, like, my stitches all go the exact same way. So I slip stitches a lot. Um, although doing just half stitches would be a lot faster. And I really like the coverage of two over one half stitch on 32 count. That's that big section I did and for whatever reason my camera won't focus. Um, I did really like doing two over one half stitch on 32. I just don't think it would help me that much because I'm gonna have to completely change the way I stitch. And yeah I just wasn't a fan of 25. Um, I felt like two over one full cross like was way too bulky that was a no. But one over one full cross seems a little sparse and two over one half stitch seemed a little sparse, so definitely if I do... Oh, sorry, I just bumped you guys. You're on a tripod. Um, if I do ever go to high count, it will be 32. One over one full cross or two over one half stitch, but like again, I like the way I stitch. I enjoy the way I stitch. I don't want to migrate out of my comfort zone just to stitch faster. I would say get more done um I already do stitch fairly fast uh so I can do a hate page in a week if I focus um focus has been really lacking the past little while but I can easily do a hate page in a week so that's about 8,000 stitches so uh, that's a little that's about 1,200 stitches a day and it's not really hard for me to get that much done if, again, I focus. So, yeah, the trade-off would be to get this, to be able to half stitch and do more is not really worth it for me to have to learn a new way to stitch or to train myself to stitch a different way because I've been stitching the same way for 20-something years. So it's just going to be the way it is. So you'll have to enjoy my baps being extra bappy because, yeah, they're all going on 18 count what I like. Um, that's about it for today. I think I 
my pile is all gone. So I showed you guys everything I planned on showing you guys. Um, I took really horrible notes this month. Uh, so sorry I couldn't give you more details on what I worked on for what prompt or whatever in Magical Stitches. Um, and I've been really bad at keeping my Instagram up to date as well. I've just been so busy. And this has been the first week I've only had one job. And I literally worked Wednesday. It's been glorious. <laughs> I work tomorrow and next Wednesday. So, uh, of course, I'm going to pick up some shifts in between. But it's nice to, you know, get to slow down and relax and have some time for myself. So, with all that being said, and thank you for listening to my rambling, and no cat. Hmm. I'll put in a clip of Simon with the new washing machine. That's what happened. Okay, so, I want to say three weeks ago, middle of a load of laundry, our washing machine keeled over. Not surprising, it was from the 90s. We got it when we bought the house, so... But, like, it's full, and we do our laundry in cold, so our wash, all our clothes are soaked in wet water. Or wet water. Oh, of course wet water. In cold water. So we're sitting there, like, taking turns wringing stuff out and getting it into the dryer as fast as we can because our hands are freaking freezing. And then um, I call my mom to let her know, like, okay, uh, we're going to have to stop by later this week to do laundry at your house. And she's like, oh, well, put the new washing machine on my credit card so she can get all the points. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I order it on her credit card and they refuse to ship it because her address and my address are different. So after four days of saying, okay, well, can you ship the thing? She even called her MasterCard and got everything cleared. Like, yes, this is a legit purchase. So it took us over a week to get a new washing machine. Got it all in, got it installed, and it's a front loader now. And Simon is obsessed with watching the clothes spin. So I'll slap a little clip on the end of this of Simon watching the laundry. Um, it's not one of the better clips of him because sometimes he like paws at it through the window. He's super cute. And I think he's one of the only cats that hasn't really been on floss tube a whole lot. So enjoy that. If you don't want to see the cat, that's cool. Uh, thanks all, thanks everyone for stopping by and spending half an hour with me today. Um, going forward, I hope to film on Fridays. Uh, the latest I work is 7 p.m. now, so that gives me almost two hours before Thomas even gets home. So I definitely have time to film every week now. Uh, yeah, so hopefully they'll be short though, short, short little videos if you only have a week of content. Because I did a month and a half and half an hour, so... If I'm doing every week, you're going to begin like 10 minute snippets of my life, which is good because then I can edit them and everything and I'm rambling. So again, see everyone later. Have a great stitchy weekend and we'll see you next time I film. Have a great day, guys.